Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and it's been a while since I've done my last video because I've been so busy a lot lately, you know, so far with um, inclusion films and all that. I mean, I finally just came back after a two week vacation. So, anyway, um, today um, I just found out that I just saw an upcoming trailer of the new Chucky movie. You know, the, the new Child's Play film called Curse of Chucky. But just so you know, I was actually a big fan of the very first original Child's Play film from 1988 with uh, Brad Dorff as Chucky, you know, a serial killer that's possessed inside the mind of a children's doll that they had. And eventually it goes crazy. Uh, as, as it follows. It also has a great cast, yeah, including uh, Alex Vincent, Catherine Hicks, and uh, Chris Sarandon. Yeah. It's a, it's a great film. It was directed by Tom Holland, who went on to do a lot of projects. Of course, he was also, he also, of course, did Fright Night, uh, which also has Chris Sarandon in it, so that's Cool. Uh, and that was the only film that was released by MGM and United Artists, which was the distributor for the first movie. And then suddenly they started making sequels, which Universal got the rights to, uh, starting with uh, Child's Play 2. Not as good as the first movie, but it was actually very fun to watch. And I, I love the, I like the fact that it became more of a comedy than it was in the first movie. So eventually, you know, as sequels went along, it just became more like a parody of the first movie than, than what it really was. So that's just what made it so interesting. Yeah, I mean, the third sequel, of course, is when they, is when Alex was all grown up and he eventually just goes to the, uh, gets signed up for the military. So eventually, yeah, he's basically just training for it. So finally the Dow came back again and gets his revenge. So, and then of course we had movies like Bride of Chucky with Jennifer Tilly, you know, joining in. Um, very good team. I thought they had very good chemistry. Uh, very hilarious too as it turned out. And they had a great cast. Um, even John Ritter was in this movie. It's just kind of strange to see John Ritter in a horror movie like... A Chucky. <laughs> well, eventually he gets killed. But anyway, then we got Seed of Chucky, which seems more like just a, a behind-the-scenes documentary, like they're just working on yet another Chucky movie. Now, I mean, that's pretty much what it was. I mean, it did have a cameo by John Waters, and, and it has all these other casts in the film, so it looked pretty cool. Uh, but it wasn't that great. But at this rate, it wasn't as good as the as all the other Chucky movies, but that's okay. It was a decent start. But now when I heard that there was going to be a new movie called Curse of Chucky, um, this is the upcoming film, I was expecting to be, you know, basically a reboot, or in some cases a remake, because already, they're already working on the new Child's Play remake, which I'm very optimistic in this one, because, I mean, so far we've been having so many bad remakes of all these classic 80s movies. You know, I mean, come on. I mean, movies like Footloose, Red Dawn, Total Recall, which was actually a 90s movie. I mean, early 90s. But it felt more like it was from the 80s. And then, we, of course, we have... <laughs> we're going to get even more remakes. And I think it's going to get even more ridiculous. Because I think they're just totally, you know, losing its originality. And that's what I'm getting sick and tired of. It because now they're just focusing on... A new stars that obviously can't act. It's just, just too much. It just didn't do it for me. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm an '80s and '90s, you know, type of guy. So I'm always, you know, into s movies that's always interesting that I really enjoy growing up. And now it's like, I feel like they're just taking away my childhood. You know, think of it this way. You know, how, how would you all feel if, if all your favorite movies has been turned into a remake? Yeah, I don't think anybody would like it. Yeah, I'm sure I wouldn't. I mean, I felt bad when... I mean, it was almost as insulting as watching the Psycho remake. Yeah, I remember how bad that one was. 
which was totally unnecessary because the original 1960s version with, that was done by Alfred Hitchcock was the best one of all until they started making sequels and all that and I thought it went pretty well for what it stood. There was no need for a remake of Psycho. Well back to Curse of Chucky. Oh, I gotta say the trailer looks pretty amazing. They managed to get the original Chucky doll in this one, although technically speaking they did manage to put some CGI uh, effects in this, but that's okay because it still has the the exact nostalgic feel of what the Chucky doll really looks like. I mean, if if you grew up watching uh, all the Child's Play movies, I mean, before he got all these scars and all that, you know, it's just something you never thought how creepy this doll really is. <laughs> yeah, so it was just. But this time uh, it has uh, Brad Dorf's uh, daughter in this movie, and I'm kind of amazed because she's in that TV show True Blood. I hardly watch that show because I, I don't have HBO, but I know that she was actually in this one. And um, it sounds like it's a pretty good um, follow-up to the third movie, so it actually takes place. I like the fact that movies nowadays actually takes place after the the other sequel or, or many others because it just totally shows a follow-up of what's really going on before it became as we know today. So I, I think this is a good choice. Um, I'm not so sure if the remake is going to be any good, okay, because frankly, like I said, I am optimistic on this one. But I have to say, this one sounds pretty good, nevertheless, considering that this is not a remake. and But it definitely more like a sequel. However, it's going to be straight to video, at this rate, DVD and Blu-ray. So it's basically a direct-to-video sequel. That's okay. Because I already heard that all the sequels are going to be released on Blu-ray for the very first time. So I'm, so I'm actually almost looking forward to seeing that. And unfortunately, I'm just hoping I get paid more because so far, um, since now I'm in my new semester, I'm just hoping that once I get my checks, I'll be able to see what, what I can do with. So I can see all the rest again. Because you know, I've, been, I've been wanting to see all of them for years now. You know how it is. But anyway, I'm going to put the link up. I think it's going to be really cool. So hopefully I'll, I'll check this movie out when it comes. So um, I, I really enjoy the, the way it looks. I think it's going to be very impressive once you see it. So who knows. I, I'm hoping that this might be a good sequel. Because as much as I love all the Chucky movies, I think this one would be you know, very good. So I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.